welcome back to our second conversation. If you're joining us right now, we have switched gears from human trafficking, child abuse, and family violence to medical parts uh, of our show this morning. It's all about bone density testing and procedures. And we have Dr. Koyar, who is the internal medicine physician internist, treatments internal medicine at Belize Medical Associates. I get all of that correct, right? Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. Welcome Good morning. back. Thanks again for having me. <laughs> um, definitely feel like part of the family. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. No? And Literally like, uh, and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and again, thanks for, for the opportunity. No? It's, I think it's our both personal and corporate responsibility as a company to, to share information mm -hmm. and to make people aware of of medical issues, no? Right. Okay. Last week you were here, you we were talking about strokes, strokes and, and hypertension, and, and, yeah, and yeah, 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 different uh, chronic diseases. Yeah, yeah. But today we're shifting gears to bone, bone density, density testing. Yeah. yeah. Well, today's topic might not be as exciting and attractive and and to all some the things people. to some people as, as the last one. Yeah. But we at medical did recognize the need to have a machine in country mm -hmm. to test your bone density. And what that means is that it's a machine that will see how, as we would say in good Creole and good cultural language, how brittle mm. or how not brittle your bone, broke up. okay, or how easy for brock yeah. or how not easy for brock. So we've acquired, we've bought, we've invested in this machine, nice state of the art, comparable to any part of Central America and the U.S. that um we we use and i hope they bring up the pictures it's it's like everybody has can relate to taking an x-ray where you lie on a table mm -hmm. and then there's a little thing over it so it's basically that you change your clothes you lie down on the table there's a moving part to it and it scans the like part of the brain part of the body that mm -hmm. you would want to check your bones though no? um and why we saw it necessary is that we have a lot of persons, especially middle-aged and older persons, who have brittle bones, mm -hmm. not even realize it till they break. They breaks, okay, and it could break for sometimes for a very simple reason. You know, have to be in a car accident and tumble along for a two foot. I mean, for a whole two story and anything, you could just have one fall at home mm -hmm. and not realizing that you have a break. And it's a very um, common uh, situation we see. You know, people in their sixties, seventies fall along, broken their hip. Um, lay up for months and months and months and it's all because the bone was extremely brittle mm. and it didn't take a good knock to, to break it no mm. so this new machine would actually look at how brittle or how not brittle your bones are give you the heads up so that you can start to do something about it mm -hmm. um, to avoid the, 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 the early fractures no is there a way that I, as a civilian, can start to see some signs of yeah, bone density? Yeah. Very yeah. good question. First, we start again, like everything else, your, your family history. Mm -hmm. I always know your family history, no? Um, you ask your parents, grandparents, is there a history of osteoporosis? And uh, we have to connect those words, bone density and osteoporosis. The word osteoporosis means that your bone get porous, get brittle, okay? And so, some families would know that yes, um, mommy may suffer or granny may suffer from severe osteoporosis. And one very, very simple question is, um, granny, you may know when granny reaches 60, instead I get taller, you get shorter, <laughs> like you start to hump over. And that's our indirect sign of osteoporosis because your spine are one of the first areas that suffer from osteoporosis. So you find that they, they start to get shorter. <laughs> they grow down instead of grow up. <laughs> and then they got this hump and, and so forth. No, those, those are the things. And then the other thing too is that sometimes we rely, we used to rely on plain x-rays, mm -hmm. but by then the, the, this mm -hmm. process is already far along and, yeah. and, and there's little then that we can do to reverse it. Mm -hmm. But anybody, and, and this, this, this is a, anybody like age 35, 35 and over, don't start to have some type of bone brittling the one mm. okay what? 35 and imagine when you're 50 that on 15 years of that so when you do the test you realize that anybody man or woman they have a certain amount of osteoporosis and then there's another fancy word they call it osteopenia mm. where they don't that they that they step before the osteoporosis and then you start to 
make the person aware, you start to insist on, on, on perhaps taking supplements, the calcium, the vitamin yeah. D, that kind of thing. And it always go back to trying to live as healthy lifestyle as possible. Eat healthy, exercise regularly, um, stop smoking, alcohol reduction, that, that kind of thing. No? Yeah. Does taking certain medicines or drugs uh, can also lead me to... Oh yes, that's a good question. Do you have certain medications that people will be on that would accelerate oh. yeah. the process of osteoporosis? No? Mm -hmm. um, some people have other conditions, other medical conditions that would do that. Um, multiple myeloma, kind of fancy medical um, mm -hmm. conditions, not too common. But definitely you have some common medications mm -hmm. that you would accelerate the process of, mm -hmm. of osteoporosis. And again, I need to mention here, and I, and I mentioned it because you always come by the media and talk about oh, hypertension and blood pressure and how it's more predominant in blacks mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. This one, you know, seems to be more predominant in clear, in Caucasians. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Caucasians. Caucasian people. Caucasian, the way we call white people, no? Huh? Yeah. Okay, so um, then that the world will suffer more um, as opposed to the blacks and the Mayas and the, and so. So somebody got something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when we're talking about osteoporosis, uh -huh. how do we identify that difference between that and arthritis? It's a big difference. Osteoporosis has to do with the bones itself, the lung bones. Okay. So your forearms, your thigh, mm -hmm. your spine, your hip. Arthritis has to do with the joints. Okay. The joints, okay? Yeah, your wrist, yeah. your elbow, your shoulder, your fingers, your knees. So that comes in to play one different part of the bone. The end mm -hmm. part of the bone will have things to do with cartilage and so forth. So there are two different things. Arthritis means inflammation of the joints okay. and you have osteoporosis where the brittling at the bone mm -hmm. and you could have of course two of them together. No? Mm -hmm. So you could have um, both the arthritic problem happening and the osteoporotic problem happening. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and curiously, and I said, you see how sometimes people come to me and say, Doc, I notice my me, me me, me finger nearly get brittle, mm -hmm. like they look brittler, okay? okay. And that's oh, one easy. Sign. Okay. Or your gum start receding. Uh, receding mean that your, your, your gum line, they go down and your teeth look like they get bigger. Mm -hmm. That's one other thing. Last um, one. People are going to look in the mirrors uh, right now. Yes, <laughs> and, 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 and back pain. Back pain now a very mm -hmm. subtle sign, but when you start to get... The back pain, lower back pain, upper back pain, mm -hmm. then are, then are indirect signs of your bones becoming more brittle. So, okay. it's it's um, so it's it's a screening tool that we use to pick up things early so that you could prevent further troubles happening. No, mm -hmm. okay, and we definitely saw it at medical to invest in it so that we can serve the the, uh, the nation mm -hmm. at that level. No, of course, you would, uh, one would argue well, hmm, I'm not the top of my list of of medical issues to talk about or discuss or address but it, it's, it's definitely something that we have to at some point no? and uh, the are the main let's say like complications that can arise from like let's say like um, low um, bone density is it like just risk for fractures or yes, are there yes. other ways that your life can be impacted no no that's that's it i mean people have spontaneous fractures at your spine okay you go live up on five dollars water gallon bottle and your bone brittle back <coughs> you okay. broke one of the bone there and oh i got severe back pain and god forbid your hip or your legs or something or like that um so it it's it's definitely more related to bone and so you will find that most physicians or all physicians should be have it at some back of their mind at mm -hmm. some point to say you know what you're 47 you're 52 let's invest in our bone density tests okay and that's something we have to do every year of course mm -hmm. but at least one so that you know what part you're there yeah. and do other uh can other like chronic conditions affect that as well like maybe um we were talking last week about diabetes hypertension does that have any impact not, not directly on this i mean you you wouldn't you wouldn't um say well bone i mean diabetes will lead to osteoporosis mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. your body down whole so it, it will affect it at some point no there's, there's a cor indirect correlation between, especially the diabetes and, and, and the, the osteoporosis, mm -hmm. okay? I know you're, um, <clears throat> you're, you're talking about the, the machine to test osteoporosis, mm -hmm. but 
uh, prior to this, were there other ways to test for osteoporosis? Like I said, just now, a simple x-ray could give you an mm -hmm. idea, but by then, by the time you say osteoporosis or your bone look brittle, um, from a regular x-ray, that means that you have an advanced stage of osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. This machine pick it up very, very early. Quickly. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, there's a, there's a um, program that they use there to say, you know what, the risk of having a fracture in the next 10 years is 50%, for example. Mm -hmm. So th that's calculated in there, no? Okay. Does uh, does this uh, affect um, any hormone imbalance or some sort? A good question again. Women and um, predominant in women um, osteoporosis, because especially menopausal women, men are man, women after after menopause, because of the lowering the lack of estrogens. Estrogens have a good protective thing for the bones, so you don't have enough estrogens, so your risk of increased osteoporosis is higher. So yes, mm. a thyroid disease is our next one, no? Mm. So um, change your life and thyroid disease will make you more risk of having a, a higher accelerated um, form of osteoporosis. Mm. Do other chronic diseases affect this as well? Um, not that what that only comes to mind directly right okay. now for sure, no? Mm -hmm. But um, by nature, your bones will deteriorate over time. Mm -hmm. And especially if you live a very unhealthy life, um, you're, 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 you could run into trouble by the time you're 50, 60, which that in you 30, not sure. <laughs> okay. Well, and that's what they say. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and if, and if um, somebody were, uh, somebody does um, get um, examined under the machine and it and turns out that they do have low bone density. Right. In terms of managing it and, and lifestyle afterwards, right. what, what sort of things? Um, yeah. There are specific medications. Um, you, you, you would suggest well, starting with supplements like calcium and vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Please, when you take calcium, not forget vitamin D because you can't absorb the calcium without the vitamin D. Mm -hmm. So then to the brother and sister, mm -hmm. hand in hand. Then there's other medications um, they got fancy name, but things like Fossa Max, where you take once a week, helps to reabsorb the bones to help the bones get stronger. And you actually got some new top of the line ones where I we even think about invest here that these kind of they're expensive. And, and but the other con like the US, you have these newer drugs, the biologics they call them, mm -hmm. that are really top of the line to help. But you use that in a very selective cases, people where they undergo chemotherapy, then kind of thing, so that they know develop. Okay, you know why? Then they get better with their cancer, but big if they, they end up they broke one, one hip, no? Okay. But the, the biophosphonates, as they call them, the Fosamax, I think would be one. We have it in Belize, it's, mm -hmm. it's not so expensive, and it really helps to, to um, reverse the, mm. the osteoporosis. Mm. Well, I didn't, um, yeah. I think that will be reassuring for a lot of people because yes, I think yes. that you know they think that yeah if you have it then it's sort of no, like no, a no, 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 forever you're death sentence of, in a way. Yeah, doesn't the uh, the fact that you use an X-ray machine of, of some sort doesn't the radiation cause significant yeah. harm on the bones? Again, good question. The amount of radiation from this machine is minimum. So okay. and some the, you are, you are, you also have to discuss the accumulative effect. This this won't add more to your risk of radiation exposure okay. for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think the cost is affordable. We well, don't ask me about the cost yet, which I'm surprised about. Because <laughs> it's BMA. <laughs> <laughs> um, it it they run between 150 Belize dollars to oh. 200 Belize dollars. I think that's a worthwhile investment. Yes. No? Yeah. Um, I just was thinking yesterday and discussing with people that, I mean, in healthcare in Belize, especially, there should always be a public private venture. And I think that. The, the public and governments on a whole uh, should be held responsible mm -hmm. for every single aspect of medicines. But your 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 lays your and you you hear it you hear it. Mm -hmm. The politicians are good at that. Uh, oh, with a public private. So we could work out or we try work out on a package with the public sector so that just like what we do with mammograms and CAT scans. Yeah. Say so you know what? Um, we are give people from the public sector one uh, lead the skunk mm -hmm. so that you know as 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 people talk to any child, no, I show mm -hmm. any child, I know, I know that top of the list of things to do, but it's it's worth the while. But at least make we make we agree to a fifty bone density test per year, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Any kind of thing. 
I know you said that uh, it's as early as 35 that you should start to test for osteoporosis, but does it begin earlier than that? They have certain conditions. You're born yeah. sometimes with certain conditions, but those are very rare. And the mm -hmm. pediatricians are the first to pick that up, no? Like, um, I, I've, has, I've seen this, you know, where you, 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 you see picnic with then calb in the foot, um, mm -hmm. when bow legged. Bow -legged, then they ask if that have uh, trouble, mm -hmm. and that needs to be checked out, no? Because okay. you could have some serious bow leggedness, no? Yeah. Um, in a in a children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just no. I I I I I don't think that when I think about osteoporosis, I think about it long after the person has passed, and that is when I see it for myself. But like I didn't really like yeah, like when you're looking at that bones afterwards. Anyways, <laughs> you look for me weird. You're not a cardiologist. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the the detection of it, why why should I worry? Why should I care about this particular testing? Because the risk of fractures, April, the risk of fractures. And I tell you, you know, up to the in an accident, you could slip down in your bathroom, you could slip down in the kitchen, and believe me, having one hip fracture or one spine fracture, not our next thing, no? You could have spontaneous, what we call spontaneous, the Lee, older person that's 70 and so on. Nothing, uh, when you do the x-ray, you find two, three of uh, the vertebrae at, mm -hmm. at the backbone, they broke already. Mm -hmm. And they have back pain. Mm -hmm. and, and that could have been avoided 20 years before, you know, 15 years before. Let's say okay. that does happen. It is due to osteoporosis. Um, what can I do? Unfortunately, at that point, there's, there's very little because of pain management and exercise. No? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't dare start anybody at 70, 75 with with all of these fancy drugs and fancy medication. Yes, we can take them supplement to avoid mm -hmm. the other bones. Them. And, and it's, it's, it's across the wide community of, of caregivers. No? Mm -hmm. Not only the, the bone man, not only the orthopedic man, not only the, um, the internist, yeah. the gynecologist, especially, like I said, women that um, work in the menopause, the general practitioners, everybody should have, as, as one eat box to take off, okay. Maybe next year we are doing one, one bone density scan, no? Mm -hmm. Okay. How can I know that I'm in the clear? Doing the test. But, doing but the on test. the test, how do I see it? What, um, what, will, what will appear on my x-ray? On your x-ray? Yeah, what will appear on it? Well, like I said, your regular x-ray, if you, if you don't appear, well, you're okay. But you still could get the, the actual specialized mm -hmm. test like we're talking about mm -hmm. today. And that would... I did one. Mm -hmm. um, we we had we did some because the machine came. They had Mid training. <laughs> and they made it guinea pig. So, so you made a guinea pig. I am one of the guinea pig there, and um, it was amazing the, the results. No, um, the the <laughs> I could come to mind one colleague where he a runner he could Big do sheep. marathon mm -hmm. and thing and thing. I know I can't hear because. <laughs> But um, he already had some little Sense. issues of the porosis. Mm -hmm. no? my, f my problem, my foot I had, like this one made the rest one lot. Mm -hmm. And don't start to, the bones there, you could see a bit different already than next mm -hmm. side. So it so happens. It, so if there is no balance and if I relax, there is still a possibility. If I overdo it, there's still it's a, a possibility. possibility. Like everything else in the middle, no? But it comes back to lifestyle, no? You eat healthy and... And drink milk. Drink milk <laughs> if you could tolerate milk. I mean, look past some reviews that I say, eat more turnip. And like, mm -hmm. okay, where we can get turnip that believes? There's turnips. There's turnips. Yeah. What about? Uh, like the and market? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> or see a view. But, there, but, but for, for fruits that I need to find high vitamin C's, calcium. Uh, calcium, yeah. All right. the, the vegetables, no? Yes. Doc. What have we not covered? What do I need to know? Um, what we need to know is that you need to have your annual checkups, your screenings, mm -hmm. and have this um, as part of the conversation, okay? Check my sugar, check my blood pressure, check my kidney function, check my heart. Oh, and by the way, like in women, we do it pap smears. Um, there's a lot of awareness that have been created along these lines with pap smears and mm -hmm. mammograms. Men, of course, with the prostate, but um, put right in there the, 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 the bone density screening, no? mm. okay, at the bottom. Okay, and we find this at BME. At Medical Associates. I think it's the only machine in the country. And, and 180, you said? 150, 150 to, 200 to 200. For private, uh, I'm not sure if the insurance is one. Well, well, agree to pay for it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure about that because. 
uh, everything that the discussions, no? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not a chronic disease. It's, it's not that good. Yeah. You work for insurance companies. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Dr. Kayar, um, I can't thank you enough. I do think that it is a conversation to be had. Right. These small At least diseases. Yeah, let's, let's just mention it, no? Right. Osteoporosis okay, is real. Yes, and especially as you get older, it's something that you want to test for. Yeah. The fact that he said it start as early as 35, all of my friends and don't they put it yeah. on the yeah. a list. Remember, life expectancy in Belize are 76, 78. So mm -hmm. if you were the, the, you know, the 50s, 60s, and God forbid you're far along and get to a fracture, I mean, that, that will affect your quality of life big time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we want to reach 80, fine, be able to be mobile. Yes, <laughs> and, 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 and they move wrong. Right, um, I, I, I'm glad you mentioned that yeah. because you were talking about things like stroke and so forth last week. If you have what one, two strokes and you have osteoporosis. When you have a stroke, you get unbalanced, you're at more risk of falling over. And mm -hmm. So definitely, no? So you want to be able to we check to all of those. that out and believe medical and services. And it's, it's not a commonly talked about topic for yeah. sure. Okay, I can't remember when we, I mean, we've, only just had the only machine in the country yeah. and mm -hmm. we as a group thought that it was necessary to at least offer the services the services huh? of course it, everything that is important for your mind body and spirit you can check it out Man, medic, Belize Medical Association I'm not sure if that we are dealing with the spirit yeah, stuff. you know <laughs> they okay. don't have ghosts that BMA uh, we have ghosts but we don't have a fix um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll figure it out he'll be back to tell us about that one <laughs> but that thank you so much for coming in thank this you, morning thank as, as usual always important conversations to have checking out your health we're going to take the break and we'll be back with backpacks yeah, and more maybe and more Jada got your backpack yeah, backpack. Yeah. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back.